Hey guys, it's Carl here. Um, in today's uh, student spotlight, I'm gonna help Osian with his uh, gallop picking technique. He's trying to play Run to the Hills by Iron Maiden. He's having an issue with tension in his hand when he's trying to do that gallop technique. Before I do that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that little notification bell so you know when I release a new video. And please submit your own student spotlight question for this channel. Uh, all you have to do is go to guitarlessons365.com. Just click on that little student spotlight link and you'll be able to submit your video there. It's completely free. Um, and hopefully I'll get to it on this channel. And while you're there, please check out my guitar academy. I have all my guitar courses there. Uh, it's a really cool place. So let's take a look at uh, Osian's video real quick. Uh, hey Carl. Um, uh, so uh, I have this problem um, with my galloping technique uh, when I try and play uh, Run to the Hills and I'm wondering, um, uh, it's just every time I play it in, in the verse parts of the song I uh, my, my right arm uh, tends, tends up, it, it, it just... Uh... So, yeah, I don't know, um, yeah, I hope, uh, well, thanks anyway, cheers. All right, now in your email to me that accompanied me your video, the message you had was you were wondering if downward pick slanting would help you get through the string easier, create less tension. Um, I don't really think it, you need to worry about the angle of the pick so much of what you're doing here. I mean, nothing looks that overly uh, bad to me technique-wise. There's obviously some tension there. But what you need to do is you need to kind of use the nature of the riff itself to, um, you know, give yourself a little relaxation points and then focus on releasing that tension. So if you want to think of this gallop as just... If you want to think of it as just a little three note burst. One, two, three. One, two, three. So what you're doing is when you're doing the burst, after a little three note burst, there's a little pause there. Um, and that's where you should be able to, re to release the tension and relax right there. Um, so I think you're trying to hold the tension in the hand to get back to the beginning of the burst again, to do the, the three note burst again. So what I would do instead is I would do that no matter how much, obviously there's other things you can do to release tension, like don't dig into the string so much. Um, when you have a palm muted um, style, you don't have to dig in very much. The, the string itself and the pick itself is going to create that big sound, uh, the percussiveness of it. So I, I would practice it like this. I do that quick little burst and then try to feel complete relaxation in my hand. Just let it just literally exaggerate it. Let the hand just kind of go limp a little bit. So. Now you don't obviously want to play like that. What I'm trying to do is you want to get the feeling of that tension, just release it. So that last final hit can be what you release the tension. And it kind of helps when it's a, since it's a bigger hit. So if you can release it playing slower like that, like every time feel that hand, I, I, I almost all feel it all the way up to your shoulders. So it's like an exhale on each one. And you do it slow because it, it gets you used to that feel. And then as you speed it up, the, the amount of time that you have to rest is, is less, but if you can control it, every time you do that final hit of the three, it feels like the energy is just, the, the tension is just leaving your hand. So I would do it like that, because then when you get fast, it, for me, every time I do that little it's a very relaxing feeling doing it. I'm not going, I'm not keeping it there. That last hit, it's almost I'm just, uh, just letting the hand go.
So that's what I'm feeling. When I'm playing that and it's, it feels effortless, is that last hit is I, I, I create a release of tension with it. And you have to exaggerate it at first. You have to do this ridiculous, unplayable relaxation thing. But if you can exaggerate like that and then slowly bring it back to it, you're relaxed, but you're, you're, you're not dropping your hand down or anything. And then you slowly start putting those bursts together quicker. So that burst itself is the same speed. I don't want you doing this. No, I want you doing this burst at the, at the right speed. It's just that then you stop. You have a bigger distance between the two. But you're feeling that last hit as just a ugh in your hand. And when you do that, um, you'll, you'll learn to harness that feel and then take it to the full riff up to speed and you'll be able to, it, it feels like you're constantly just releasing tension in your hand. It feels right. And it's a lot easier than doing that. One of these riffs that you don't have that ability, you just have to have an overall very relaxed picking technique to do that. Uh, but for these gallops, you can kind of get away with just uh, releasing the tension at the right points. All right, so hopefully this helped and I will see you guys again soon with the next Student Spotlight lesson. Bye-bye.